back to starfish sea fishing. Uh, gonna think about getting me a crab tanks cleaned out now, uh, set back up. So I'm gonna give you a look at my crab tanks and how the sub filter works and how I keep my crabs. So I've got quite a crude sub filter that sits in another sub filter box. I'll show you how it all goes together. Basically, this is your inflow. Your inflow goes in here, goes in the first level, up for the second level, and so on and so on and so on. And in here, I'm gonna have sponge and bio media so the sump media itself is bio balls and i've got different grades of sponges to clean the water out coarse fine and medium so we'll set the sump up and we'll show you how the filter works so in the first compartment we're going to be using some bio balls these are uh, trapped the uh, biological media that needs to clean all the crud from the tank and the crabs so that goes in the first compartment. Then I add some coarse sponges. And then a fine coarse sponge. We add some more bio balls. Got some finer type of bio balls to float. You can sit in there. Another coarse media sponge goes in there. And then I got some fine sponges that sit at the end. The end of the sump i've got two outflows that flow into the bigger part of the sump which i'll show you in a minute it goes to the pump and returns to the two tanks so this will sit at different water levels we'll have different levels of water like so and we'll trickle out the end back into the main sub so on the main sump box i've got two stands in there it's all crude stuff but it really does work this the main sump part of the filter goes in here like that. So you can see I've got my two outflows will flow into the main part of the tank. We'll fill this full of bio balls and I'll fit the filter inside there as well. So next we've got some more bio media to go into the main, main part of the sump. So we'll fill this up. I've got a decent sized pump filter, pom pump. So I'm going to fit the pom pump in here. It's got about an inch diameter gap on this one, it's quite a big one. We'll fit this in. I've got some holes in the side of the tank and push the plugs through. We'll take this inside now and we'll get this air piped up. So essentially, what's going to happen is this chamber's going to fill. Then it's going to fill that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. It's going to come out into the main sub. You've got all this air uh, mechanical and air biological media and air that will hold all the good bacteria. Now this will keep the water fresh. 
and I'll only have to do a water change 25% once a week instead of having to go down every day getting fresh water. So th this kind of system really does work well for keeping live baked crabs, sand eels, anything you like. Hermit crabs, it'll keep anything. So, so what I've got to do now is I've got to connect the outflow and the inflow pipes. So the inflow pipe goes through this hole in the side of the sub. And that inflow goes into the first part of the sub filter here. This is where the water goes in. And then we return, my outflow is the pump itself. Connects this pipe connects to the pump, and that's my outflow. I'll just get this screwed onto the pump. So that's my filter set up now. So the outflow is the pump, the inflow goes through here into the back end of the sump, goes through the biomedia, back through the pump, and into tanks one and two. So from the outflow of the pump, follows the tube, comes up into tank one which I've got a control valve so I can control the rate of the flow and what water goes in so we don't overfill or underfill the tank. That goes into tank number one. Tank number one has an air stone in it. I use these Eheim air stones. They don't vibrate like normal air stones so it doesn't disturb the crabs while they're in here. That goes through this pipe into tank number two. Again, there's another air stone in here and a thermometer where I can take the temperature of the water which I want between sort of 4 and 14 degrees depending on what time of year it is then goes out through this outflow straight down the pipe back into the sump filter and back through the filter again and the cycle continues over and over again this will keep your water really fresh so we only have to do 25% once a week rather than daily water changes. So I'm about to go and get some seawater and get this full filled up and running. So we've got to get these down to the beach now, get these full of fresh seawater and get this tank set up and running. Get some seawater. There you go, there's the first batch of seawater. I think this holds about 200 litres, this setup, so I think I'll have to go back and have another trip. But we'll get this filled up now. We'll just start filling the tanks up, then we'll level the system out and get it running. It takes a while to fill it up, so go back in when it's full. Right, so there you go, that's now full of water and up and running. So my pump's taking the water out of the sump, the overflow's bringing it back in, it's going through the sump, out the two holes through the biomedia, back out, comes up to the first tank where I control the flow here to balance the pump out, that's my flow in, the air stones are running, this one's just gravity fed into the next one with another air stone and then it's gravity fed back down into the pump. So this kind of setup is really good if you're holding a lot of crabs. It's not going to be very good if you're not holding a lot of crabs. You're best just putting them in trays in the fridge. But I can hold about two to 300 crab at any one time in there. So I'm just going to leave these running now for four weeks. Get the bacteria built up in the biomedia. And then we'll start getting some crab. And you can see the water temperature is currently at about 6.8. 
so that's fine for the crabs at the moment. If it drops much below that, sort of down to sort of four minus, then I'll have to put a heater into the tank and just make sure the temperature goes up a bit. But it's quite mild at the moment now in February, so. So once the tanks have run for about four or five hours, this water will clear up and go crystal clear. So anything I put in the tank, crabs, etc., I'll be able to see where they are. I'll use one tank for the, the ones that aren't ready and the ones that are nearly ready will go into that tank. And then once I've got the system balanced out, I just replace all the covers on the sump filter, the tanks that keeps all the condensation from uh, evaporating. So it's a very good setup if you're keeping lots of crabs. You say if you're only keeping a couple of crab, 20, 30 a week or so, just put them in trays in the fridge, save yourself a lot of time and hassle. But this kind of setup here, 25% water change once a week for me. It saves a lot of hassle going down the beach like I was there, collecting water, bringing them back, changing the tanks over. It makes it, uh, the bio media keeps the water fresh and helps the crabs peel more naturally. Brings them on quite quick. Starfish, sea fishing, see you again.